<laughs> That's Mountain Dew. It is. Yep. Now I understand that. Here. Ken Robinson, the fellow told me, they had the store and the house down here and all of that. He had a, 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 a shed like that, we call it a corn crib, that out there, and had a mill where you could grind it up and make cornmeal out of it, you know. But they said if you dig far enough back under that corn, you find some jugs back under there, you know. But he, he did something to make enough money. Way back under about this farm, that farm, the one over here, the one back down before I was born. Uh, you know, somehow enough. And Joseph Hawkins, who first that we all go back to. That is still out here on the tree. Where he, and it's in, the, in our book. He made about 200 no, dollars. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've seen her in a year and a half. And, but you could put several jugs, uh, five, six jugs, in a sack, you know, and, on, and put it on a mule behind the saddle, you know, let it hang over, and take it back over to where. Uh, and people use it for medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, they put herbs and roots and berries and various stuff in there and use it for medicine. Uh, Grady Pig that used to live right over there who married my uncle's daughter, Reba. Yeah, uh, made okay. some of the best cough yeah. medicine. I mean, you could be, it, it was better than the stuff you get out of the grocery store. Oh, well, you buy a big cough syrup, it's 75, 80% alcohol. It's, it's there so on the bottle. Right, yeah. On the bottle. Now. Yeah, he was stubborn. Yeah. So, anyhow, I don't know what. Uh, Hi, Look yonder. Look yonder. There's a foxy lady. Don't you?